many communities in our region will be celebrating an important milestone over the next couple years. This past weekend, Cut Knife commemorated their 100th birthday party and ATR was invited. Uh, Cut Knife was first formed uh, officially May 17, 1912, so we are celebrating today the 100th anniversary and uh, it is a small town, but we are mighty. who have helped with this event for the last two and a half years and uh, can't be more excited about the turnout and the weather. What about Cut Knife? Um, it's a very, it's a small community that's very friendly. It's, um, it has a, a farming community around it that's really prosperous and it's got three uh, First Nations reserves around it as well. Um, I just like the atmosphere of knowing everybody, Feel it has a very safe feeling, very clean, nice little town. I think it still retains some of that uh, early farm character and people are very friendly and helpful to each other. I've been here all my life, born and raised. I like the people. I, I don't know, you know when you've lived someplace all your life, uh, people are helpful, they're friendly. They're there when you need them. It's, it's a great place to live. I love the small community atmosphere and uh, I love the, the people. Um, whenever you need a hand, somebody is there to give you a hand. So, and it's wonderful. It was originally called, the translation was Broken Knife. And you'll have to find a First Nations person to pronounce that. My bilingualism isn't that good. Um, but it was changed to Cut Knife and named after a chief that fought in a battle years ago in the, before, the, before the town of Cutknife was even formed. I'm celebrating being part of, of uh, this centennial reunion, uh, seeing old friends, family, it's just great. I'm really amazed that it hasn't died out as a lot of small prairie towns did, so that means there's a lot of energy and motivation uh, with the people that live here to keep it going and support the businesses. So uh, I can see by, you know, the centennial preparations here that they've again done a, an amazing job to provide a lot of things for people to do and see and it's that same good energy. And that's been our show for tonight. I'd like to thank all my guests for joining me and give a special thank you to Sherlyn Obrowski for leaving copies of her novel for us to give away. Enter to win by following ATR on Twitter or by liking our Facebook page and we'll be drawing our winners next week. I'm Kayla Buchanan. Thanks for watching and have a great night.